Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if all started devotional guys, I'd like to shout out the following personal channel na napunta rito at nag-join sa devotional. Shout out to God bless to Angelica Erbito, uh, Ben Lawrence Chonko, Stephanie Intes, uh, Emilito Ras, Bing Oribilio, Andre Abanid, Nathaniel Abilia, Francis Sakin, Jamaica Daing, Crystal Joy Balduino, Gideon Unai, Mary Joy Landingin, Janine Mancho, Rekami Palma, Rory Olio, Friends Shendog, Mikaela Lazaro, Nico Sondrita, Pearl Pansoy, Estela Quizon, Jane Pador, Jay Dariada, Chris Calbaconawa, Junsel Magdasal, Gilbert Mosmog, Jane Kurai, Casey Obina, Ruana Tikar, Mitsu Kang, uh, Nicole Villamore, Monique Kilimore, Richard May Kilang, uh, Lisa, Lisa Gabiana, Honey, Grace, Alia Bonani, Jerry Abok, Ivy Gaiti, Heidi Leonis, Karen Bakaron, Hart Ponsalan, Mami Rose Crap, Yans TV, Connie Blog, Michael Aborita, Jocelyn Custodio, SSC TV of Korea, Retro Blog, Diobaco Teco, and Event to Bon, Anthony Balmoria. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay na manood at makinig sa devotional, but still napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all guys. TV Hello guys, kumusta po ang day natin? It's uh, already Saturday and sana nakapagsimbay yung mga friend natin ng mga SDA, no? Yung lagi na pupunta rito. God bless you my friend, no? Alam ko kung sino yun. It's my sudyante naman. Sulitin natin talaga yung bakasyon natin. <laughs> kami nga po nung puno kami ng mga seminars, no? Minsan nakaka-pressure yung daming seminar. Then seminar, pagkatapos may ginagawa pa kami. So, well, laban lang. Laban lang tayo sa buhay. Ganyan talaga, no? Ganyan talaga. So, let's distress ourselves with God. Offer natin kay Lord para hindi tayo ma-pressure at hindi tayo ma-stress. I guess it's our procedure devotion now. Let's open our Bible to 1 Kings chapter 9 verses 1 to 9. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here so simplified maintained that talaga natin. Ang ganda ng ano dito guys, ang title sa Died on, uh, sa Bible, no? The Lord appears to Solomon. Wow! How I, how I also pray na ganyan ang mangyari, no? I guess let's now proceed to our uh, reading. Uh, the word of the Lord in 1 Kings chapter 9, verse 1 to 9 says, When Solomon had finished building the temple of the Lord and the royal palace and had achieved all he had desired to do, the Lord appeared to him. A second time, as he had appeared to him at Gibeon, the Lord said to him, I have heard the prayer and plea you have made before me. I have consecrated this temple which you have built by putting my name there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. As for you, if you walk before me in integrity of heart and uprightness, as David your father did, and do all I command, and observe my decrees and laws, I will establish your royal throne over Israel forever. As I promised David, your father, when I said, You shall never fail to have a man on the throne of Israel. But if you or your sons turn away from me and do not observe the command and decrees I have given you, and go off to serve other gods and worship them, then I will cut off Israel from the land I have given them and will reject this temple I have consecrated for my name. Israel will then become a byword and an object of ridicule among all peoples. And though this temple is not imposing, all who pass by will be appalled and will scoff and say, Why has the Lord done such a thing? of this land and to this temple people will answer because they have forsaken the lord their god who brought their fathers out of egypt and have embraced other gods 
worshiping and serving them. That is why the Lord brought all the disasters on them. Amen and Amen. I guess it's not pray. Yes, Father God, the conversation is so nice. And there's a condition given by God that all the generation would follow Him as a God or else consequences will really follow. Lord, we're so sorry, O oh God, for being so disobedient of your statutes, O oh God, that we are suffering the consequences of what others have done and even ourselves has done. Forgive us, dear God, from all the surroundings. We pray to please teach us to be obedient in you, in following your words. Lord, help us. Release us from the bandage of slavery. Release us, O oh God, from the pressure we're experiencing, the problem we're encountering. Give us peace and presence of mind. May we be like Solomon, na malapit sa iyo, O God. Even King David, who was known to be a man after God's own heart. Lord, help us to make them as our example in our life. Bless each one, nandito ngayon, O God, na join sa devotional. We commit all these things to you, O God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. So the focus verse we have for this evening, guys, is found in First Kings chapter 9, verses 4 to 5. And it says, If you walk before me in integrity of heart and uprightness, I will establish your royal throne over Israel forever. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, if not for obedience. That's why we need to be obedient. 20 years, that was the time it had taken for Solomon to build the temple and the royal palace. The massive project involved complex coordination of manpower, construction supplies, and labor. When the buildings were finally completed, all of Israel knew that God had fulfilled his promise to Solomon's father, David. As we have read previously in 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 15. It was a time of rejoicing and thankfulness. I have consecrated this temple, God told Solomon, by putting my name there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there in verse 3. Sabi nasa natin. Could God have spoken more assuring words to Solomon? Yes. <laughs> Sana, no? If God, uh, if Solomon would just keep on meditating God, he would be sensitive to God. The Lord expresses favor over Solomon's effort, yet he goes on to say that although the temple matters to him, it is Solomon's obedience that matters most. God promises blessing if Solomon remains obedient to him and punishment if he doesn't. In verses 5 to 9, even the temple will become a heap of rubble. In verse 8, Painful consequences are the natural result of sin against a holy God. We can do great over undertakings for God, but if we don't live in obedience to His commands and leading, all of our great work is in vain. God desires our obedience. Let's ask Him to help us walk before Him with integrity of heart and uprightness. Obeying Him is in all areas of our life matters must. Guys, many times I fail to obey God, but I ask forgiveness every time. God reveals to me the sins that I have done in a day. That's why we need to evaluate our day. Now start our day with God. And our day with God. And evaluate ourselves. Kung ano yung mga nagawa natin masama. Na hindi kaya-aya kay Lord. Then we have to ask for forgiveness. Kasi may consequences guys. 
Napakasakit sa consequences. God forgives us, but the consequences of the sin we have done is there. Okay, as much as possible, let's not commit sin. Let's be obedient to God. Mahirap sundin. But we need God's grace to be in us. I guess let's not pray. Eternal God and Father, help us to be obedient to you. Remind us that without our obedience, everything we do for you is in vain. Lord, help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, trust and obey, for there is no other way. God bless us all, guys, because I know God surely bless us 10 times better. This again is Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit tayo sa muli. Paalam!